On this video, we'll learn how to benchmark Rust functions. And also, we'll try to use GitHub Copilot and ChatGPT to generate some code. So stick around, this is going to be fun. I wrote five versions of the same function. And if you read the Rust book, you should be very familiar with this get first word example, where we call word to all the characters from the beginning of the string until you find the white space. So with that, there's a convenience method inside a string called split white space, which is, if you look at the implementation, it's all like driven by macros and it's pretty crazy stuff. But long story short, it will use this magical function to get an iterator to all the slices split by white space, and it will just take the first one and return it. This is probably going to be the least efficient version of the function because we are go we are passing ownership of the argument to the to this function. We have to clone the string into the this function and that on its own, it's very inefficient. And I guess the second part is that here we need to clone again, return a string back to the caller. Now, the second version is um, similar, but instead of taking ownership of the parameter, we just borrow it and we return a slice as opposed to a string. The third version is I try to get a little bit clever and I try to like split the string myself by like enumerating the characters in this in the slice and reading all the characters from the beginning of the slice up until I found a uh, white space and just here I'm just returning that then I said you know what let's try to use chat GPT let's see what it comes up with this is very familiar this is exactly like the f second uh, function here I asked GPT to do something efficient I think I'll show you the transcript and then it came up with this what is interesting about this is that you'll notice that it doesn't iterate through the characters, instead it iterates through the bytes. The reason why ChatGPT decided to do this is actually pretty amazing and very logical. So um, let, let me know what you think. Let's ask ChatGPT to generate a function to get the first word out of a string. Okay. Blah, blah. Interesting. So first is getting the bytes and then iterating on them. I will have used characters. Okay. It's relatively it's relatively efficient because it avoids any memory allocation and operates directly on the input stir. Is this more efficient than using um you can do this. It depends on the input string. It can be more efficient than iterating over the bytes because each Unicode character can be encoded using multiple bytes. Wow. I thought it was pretty, pretty clever. Now let's go ahead and benchmark this. So I prepared a file which, uh, with a bunch of text. We are going to create uh, some benchmarks for all the functions and let's see if uh, GitHub Copilot can help us to accomplish this. All right, cool. So it got the header right. I want to add one more condition here. I don't think that package is correct. That's no, not correct. So then the name of the package is a clone away, colon, colon. I think it's going to learn from that. Yep. And of course it will be nicer if all imports were on one line, but what are you going to do? Use a lorem Ipsum test benchmark. No. Lorem Ipsum Talk text as the input string. I think the path is off. Let's help it a little bit. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so it generated the benchmarks. Does this, does this compile? Well, almost. I do not want to clone it or anything, so what I'm going to do is just redefine it. Right. I guess you cannot shadow. 
Okay, that works. Now we need to add the function to the, to, to the benches. And this should be it, guys. Let's see which, which function is faster. I have no idea. Uh, we'll see. Wow. All right, so... I am extremely pleased with the results, as we predicted. The slowest function is the uh, the get first word passing ownership of string, as we expected. It takes uh, nine microseconds. So you have my you have millis, micros, nanos, and then picoseconds. So this means that basically passing ownership of the string is a thousand times slower than just borrowing the the string uh, and you keep that in mind as you uh, as you build your rust systems and then like the rest of the functions are within the same ballpark but uh yeah look at look at chat dpt version 2 this function is significantly faster so yeah it it is what it is it it won straight up won this little game um I think uh, ChatGPT will become a great aid as a developer for the foreseeable future. And I'm not sure if it will become more than an aid in a few years. We'll see about that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching.